Okay. Um, first of all, we're going to do a um, public hearing on the budget. A quorum being present, the first order of business to hold a public hearing on the amended budget prepared in tentative form, form as set forth in the minutes of the meeting of the Board of Education held on April 10th, 2018. The Secretary of the Board of Education had admitted an affidavit and certificate of publication from the landmark stating that an amended budget for District 208 for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2017 and ending June 30th, 2018 was placed on file and was conveniently available at the district's administrative offices. Notice was given that a public hearing on said tentative uh, budget will be held at 7 p.m. on May 22nd, 2018. Due notice has been given of the public hearing on the budget and all other statutory requirements preliminary to holding of such public hearing has been complied with. Dr. Skinkis and Mr. Bernick will present and explain the amended 2017-18 budget and answer any questions from the board. There are only uh, three or four additions to the 2018, fiscal year 2018 budget. Um, Scott, if you can just highlight those uh, in the and tell Marianne what page you want to go to so the board sure. can see and the public can see them highlighted in green. If you go to board book page uh, number nine, there are four main items that um, are reflected in the amended budget. Uh, number one, uh, there was the bond refinancing that is reflected in the budget of approximately $22 million of the bond refinancing. There was the issuance of a $3 million working cash bond, an issuance of a $1.86 million life safety bond, and there was one additional working cash transfer of $70,000 from working cash to capital projects. Those were the four main items that are reflected in the amended budget. Um, all the details are within this budget um, in the actual sections of the revenue and expense that is out there that is out where um to the public okay in board book in board book okay you mean on our website it's on the website and also um tonight here in board book okay because board book is not public if i the the meetings it's and agendas are public after the meeting okay there were only uh, there was only one or two questions submitted uh, for Mr. Walsh, who's not present, and that was on the uh, two columns ending up on what page? On the summary page, which would be board book page 12. In, the f in this form that is presented to the board, this is the general ledger form. There is a discrepancy between the $15,000 transfer of interest from the debt service fund to the education fund. Um, in the general ledger account, um, it shows the <coughs> revenue <coughs> and expenditure in it. In the ISBE form, it does not show the $15,000 as a transfer as an expenditure. So there is a discrepancy between what ISBE accepts and what the general ledger is. It is accounted for in this. It will be submitted to ISBE with the correct um, $15,000 transfer on their summary page. I have confirmed with our auditor today to make sure that it is correct and went through it. Um, that was the only question that was really submitted with within this amended budget. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions? From the board? No. Says in comments only in the amended budget. Okay. The meeting will now be open for public discussion on the items that were amended in the budget. Anyone choosing to make any business statements? Okay, seeing none, um, there's no comments. I declare the public hearing on the budget completed and the regular meeting will now proceed. All right, what are we on to now? Um, 